This video is brought to you by Raycon. A few months ago, I started going down this rabbit hole about mobile game ads and how truly awful they can be. Just downright utter garbage, both with intent and quality. And the worst part of all, these trashy ads are all over the internet. Like if you've been online at all, <laughs> ever, then you've most likely seen one of these ads before and know exactly what I'm talking about. Honestly, I, I find it kind of ironic that YouTube gets upset at content creators for not making ad-friendly videos. Yet they take money from these sketchy mobile game companies who have low quality, misleading, and hyper-sexualized ads. If I'm correct, I'm pretty sure that violates the terms of service for YouTube, but hey, these are advertisers, they pay money, they get priority. Butts and boobs and you know what? Screw it. Let's put in the TikTok dance cuz that's a thing. Now I do have plans to do a video where I check out some of the biggest offenders when it comes to mobile game ads, which by the way, <laughs> there's a lot of them. But there's one in particular that truly stands out to me, Lily's Garden. I had no idea what I was getting myself into with this one. Like, the lore behind this game is genuinely chaotic, but I can't look away. At first you're thinking, oh, it's some 30-something-year-old lady trying to find love. But then like 10 commercials later, you got Lily's boyfriend who is at a bar trying to roofie Lily's mom. But then Lily's mother is trying to roofie Lily's boyfriend. What? 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 How was this allowed on YouTube? How was this allowed? period. And guess what, folks? That is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the world of Lily's Garden and just how ridiculous these ads can be. There's murder, betrayal, adultery, demon children, and even washing machines. Yes, washing machines. For reasons. Yeah, th this one's going to get interesting, folks. Okay, so who are the people behind Lily's Garden? Well, that would be Tactile Games. Located in Denmark, this company is responsible for quite a few mobile games, though Lily's Garden is easily their most infamous title. Now, the internet caught on to Lily's Garden in 2019, with this bizarre ad in particular, where Lily fakes a pregnancy in order to get rid of her crummy boyfriend. Needless to say, a lot of folks were like, what the actual hell is this game about? According to Tactile, they were taking aim at the Facebook mom demographic, so they never expected such a response from the internet. Though, come on, your ads are ridiculous. Of course the internet is going to react to them, especially when they look like this. Well, this narrative-driven free-to-play game has been quite the financial success for Tactile, because according to sources, the company makes around $25 million a year in revenue. Now, I don't know how much of that is specifically due to Lily's Garden, but I can only imagine that it's one of the company's major titles. Honestly, mobile games in general just blow my mind with how much money they make, and all from a free-to-play business structure. Like, take Monster Strike, for example. This game in 2019 made around $8.7 billion. That is three times the amount of the worldwide gross of Endgame, which is, by the way, the highest grossing movie of all time. These numbers really put into perspective how much money the mobile gaming market makes. Once more, I'm currently working on two videos related to mobile games, one about the trashy ads and the other about the ethics of mobile games. So I have not yet begun to fight when it comes to this topic, but for now, let's just focus on Lily's Garden. That's right, get your lavender candles, your, your quarters, and let's head on down to the laundromat because it is time to rumble. Seriously. How is this ad allowed on YouTube? Look at that face. Look at it. So, what's the game about? Well, according to Tactile Games, quote, get your hands dirty in Lily's Garden, our new free puzzle game. Help Lily restore her great aunt's garden to its former glory 
and rediscover her roots. Dig into a story full of twists and turns as Lily interacts with a cast of colorful characters. Plant the seed of romance with her handsome neighbor Luke and keep her rake of an ex-boyfriend Blaine off her turf. Match and collect flowers and hundreds of unique puzzle levels to earn stars and grow your garden. Ah, oh, okay. But what about the ads themselves? You know, the reason why I'm making this video to begin with. Well, sister, sit down and pour yourself a glass of wine because I'm about to spill the tea. By the way, a shout out to Tigrosaurus for meticulously updating the Lily's Garden expanded universe with these video compilations. They really do help a lot, so thank you. Now, folks, I could just do a rundown of these ads trying to haphazardly explain them. But where's the fun in that? We're here for chaos. So I present to you all my genuine reactions from my Let's Watch Lilia's Garden live stream. I am so sorry. How old is Lily, do you all think? Like, uh-oh, I'm scared. No, don't you even tighten your butt for a second. I'll scream. Uh-oh, he's going in. Oh, they, oh. <laughs> Homeboy lasted for like four minutes. That's twice as long as me. You Here's the infamous one. There we go. This is the one that, that I was alerted to. <laughs> Am I gonna get in trouble on Twitch? <laughs> I mean, let's all have a good time. Oh, canned lavender, wine, yes. Lock and load, ladies. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, maybe I'm just jealous. I'm sorry. <gasps> Dude, that is some boldness right there to grab her like that. Good gracious, man. Yeah, it's kind of creepy. Huh? Wait, what? Okay. I guess we're doing this. <laughs> I guess we're doing this. It's... <laughs> We're having a three-way, bro. What's this happening? Hey, he's like, I'm into Why not? Let's go. All right. So I guess this is Lily's friend. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> we got, oh, whoa. Got a massive dong. Wow, that's pretty forward. <laughs> Oh, he meant his eggplant like his wiener. <laughs> so, so clever. This is better writing than Tuttle Twins, though. Oh, well, hold on. I missed something. Oh, no. Is she having a kid? Oh, no. Was it a miscarriage? Oh, no. Lily, you poor thing. Is she cheating? So she's so she's supposed to be with... <laughs> He's passed out. <laughs> so she's cheating, then. What's Polly? Okay. Well, does the friend know? Are they all in? okay? Here's the mom again. Okay, we're out the gate. No shame. No, <laughs> no, sh no shame. <laughs> okay, why not? You know. So the plot thickens that he is now cheating on. Doth my eyes deceive me? Or did we just see someone get drugged? What the ass was that? I think the mother just roofied the guy. Look at that face. Ooh. Well, that's, um, that's not fun. Mm, I guess they were made for each other. Hold on, hold on. Let's recap here. So, so she, Lily, 
was is with a blonde guy, and but she was also with the black haired guy, cheating on who I'm not sure if his SO knows that he's getting with Lily. It seems that Lily's blonde boyfriend is cool with that, with them being Polly, but he also does his own thing with other girls behind her back. And now her mother is getting into the fray. Okay, yeah, is that her mom's butt? Jesus. Yep. Blaine, okay. Dude, Blaine is just getting around. Lily, dump his ass. Get out of there. This is not healthy. Oh, no. Can she? Or is she stuck with him now? Okay, she no. wants to... No! Uh, kerfuffle, thank you. Oh, <laughs> he just beast out. Wow, he just left. Straight up. Bye. <laughs> I got people to roofie. So she's pregnant this time, and it's not a... Uh, it's not a... Miscarriage, I guess? Here we are playing checkers while Lily is playing 4D chess. She got rid of his ass by faking a pregnancy test. My God. I'm kind of impressed. I'm kind of <laughs> impressed. <laughs> wow <laughs> she just ended him <laughs> damn Lily cold blooded she's a little spinny and puts it in her holster and throws this garbage out okay time to focus on you Lily get back to it what the hell <laughs> parkour <laughs> okay <laughs> Man, that's how you rebound from a breakup, is you just skydive, parkour, and... You come from the mares. Hey, Abby, what up? Yeah, big big brain galaxy. Big galaxy brain lily. Oh, I guess that's the actual game, then, huh? <gasps> Sound effects. Blaine's back, and he's back with Lily's mom. My God, this treachery, this betrayal. Uh, she broke up with Blaine, so I guess Blaine can do what he wants, right? Though, would you take offense if your mother dated your ex? I would. I feel like that'd be kind of a, a bit of a crossing the line. <laughs> We're psychoing it up. Wow, sh sh Blaine's here at the Christmas dinner? And he's probably talking about how he's screwing Lily's mom. No. No! Alright, so is Lily gonna get with this guy now? That he's free? Okay. I think this guy's m a bit more handsome than Blaine. I think Lily's mom's the biggest homewrecker of I've ever seen. Look at her. She won't let Lily have a moment of joy in her life. Her mother, I think her mother only exists to basically screw Lily's li love life over. My God, Lily's mom, back off. Yeah. Continue. <laughs> Lily, you should know better than that. Wait. That's the exact same, uh... Lily animation. Wait, how? Was it in vitro? Okay, they're pregnant! Okay, so is Lily knowing about this treachery? She, okay, okay. What's gonna happen now? Throw out Blaine again. Throw out whoever that guy is. 
Lily doesn't have time to sub. Luke is his name. I'm from the mayor's. What up, Connor Sween? Yeah, yeah, I'm here for it. Is she swiping on Tinder or is she getting rid of the pictures? Wine. Wine has always been Lily's good friend. We're back at the laundry, man. Let's let's uh let's find a new uh S O. Oh, mm. The horny master three thousand. Oh. Okay. I'm from the mares. <laughs> Finally, the garden. Wow, she's good at it too. Oh, she's. Pl <laughs> Lily's playing Lily's garden. How dare you? What? What is this? A music video? <laughs> it, yeah, it's like a uh, Miley Cyrus, I guess. That's a thing. Again. The exact same motion where she throws her body like that. It's almost like it's uh, you just toss the model. In. Oh my God, Luke, are you going to take the scooter and take off? We're doing it again. Oh, <gasps> he wants to be a dad. He wants to be a dad. It's better than Blaine. Blaine pieced out. Luke is standing his ground. And they got a bun in the oven. You can't tell. Are they even married? I don't think so. That was her water breaking. Okay, it's happening. Where she's having her kid. Her water broke. Well, I'm curious if Luke was cheating. We just saw that. No. Did Luke just die? What's, what's going on? Where's the baby? Luke's dead? What's happening? What is happening? What just happened? Titanic? What's happening? What is happening? Excuse me? What? Wow, that's the thing. What the hell is your hair? All right, there's the baby. Baby's, uh, the baby's there. All right, baby life, let's go. Hey, hold on. The, uh, the girl who was with Luke went on to do, um, she's either a model or she's running this ad campaign or she's working at the company. Good on her. Good on her. There's the mom again. And the mom has died again. <laughs> For the third time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Funeral agency, so... Seems a bit more serious. Is the mom still alive? Okay, she wants her martini with her. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, is she gonna pull through this? No. Oh, no, you heard no! it. Mo oh my God, hold on. There's a lot going on. So first of all, Chubbs, thank you for subscribing. Um, the mom got in my bus. <laughs> There's an eggplant on the on the heart monitor, and someone just turned off the 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 life support. I think I think she's about to die, <laughs> and somebody killed her. She's dead. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Well, that was a trip. These ads are ridiculous. And you know what? You know what? Good for them. I, I do appreciate that they took the approach of saying, let's just have fun. Who cares? Who cares? And for what it's worth, they are just leagues above the rest of the garbage out there. At least the models are competent. They, they look fine. I like Lily's design. These characters are fine. And the way they move, it's it's like obviously on the cheaper end, but competent. But I tell you this, compare that to the utter trash that are the rest of mobile game ads. My God, Lily's Garden is Oscar worthy. I, I can't stress this enough. Mobile game ads are bottom of the barrel trash. Absolute garbage. And, and we're gonna suffer them together in the future. But what's the game about? Uh, sounds a bit more tame compared to the ads, but I am sure that the game won't let me down and will have its own unique brand of excitement and drama. 
right? Right? Ah, oh, goddammit, it's Bejeweled. So let's go ahead and rip off that Band-Aid. The game is not as chaotic as the ads imply it to be. Yeah, you got Lily trying to renovate her aunt's garden, and we see Lily build relationships with her friends and potential lovers, but the game story is much more grounded compared to the madness from the ads. Like, I was expecting a, a mini game where I have to keep Lily's mom from going down on Lily's boyfriends, but no, I was gravely disappointed with, check my notes here, ah yes, building an actual garden and <sighs> constructing meaningful relationships, blah! All my expectations were dashed before my very eyes, except for, <sighs> of course, microtransactions. Oh no, Lily, you're out of lives. Now you gotta wait a few hours before playing again. Unless... What I found interesting is how the writer for the game itself, Stella Seiko, had nothing to do with the ad campaign for Lily's Garden. And she was like, uh, yeah, that's done in the game. According to an interview with Stella, those ads are created by a separate team. Quote, all of those are totally fabricated for, I guess, virality. And to that degree, I would say that it worked. Folks, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that infamous pregnancy test ad? Well, it's not in the actual game. Along with a bunch of other dramatic moments from the commercials. The ads for Lily's Garden are a genuine roller coaster of absurdity and drama, with the sole intent of getting a reaction from viewers, with the hope that they're curious enough to download the game to see what the fuss is all about. Well, guess what? In typical mobile game fashion, these ads are misleading and aren't being fully transparent when it comes to actual gameplay. Gameplay that is just bejeweled. Eh, yay. That being said, I wouldn't say that Lily's Garden is a terrible game. Well, except for the microtransaction stuff. If you like Bejeweled, there it is. And, and there's a story there. Like I followed it for like about a week and I was like, okay, I'm fine. Because the microtransaction started to pop their head and I'm like, I'm done here, I'm done. But as far as like it being honest, as far as it being true to the ads, no. It doesn't do that. And that's going to be a big turnoff for potential customers. They want to see balls to the wall drama, cheating mothers who are murdered in cold blood and a love triangle with treacherous ex-boyfriends. But the actual story for the game is much more grounded than that and goes at a slower pace. Tactile games promise me adulterous romance. Where's my goddamn pregnancy test shenanigans, Lily? This is false advertising. But hey, that's unfortunately the nature of the beast when it comes to mobile games in general. And the worst part? As I said before, Lily's Garden is one of the higher quality examples out there. I mean, yeah, these ads are sexually charged at times and aren't advertising what the game is actually about, but at least they're amusing to laugh at. But then you've got this stuff. Yeah, the others. Brace yourselves. That video is going to be hard to get through. No, not hard like that. I mean, hard like, ugh, whatever. So big shout out to this video sponsor, Raycon Earbuds. That's right, I'm back at it again with the Raycons. So I've been using my pair for almost two years now, but I've legit have never used them more than this past month. Every morning, I use them when I do my exercise, and then I switch over to audiobooks for the rest of my workday. They genuinely keep me sane and are a huge help to my daily routines. And with summer around the corner, they are also going to be a big help with my hikes too. I'm a huge fan of the Everyday E25s. This version has a potent recharging case that can charge your earbuds for up to six hours. The earbuds are also compact and fit well in my ears too. Plus, the quality of the sound is top notch with an excellent bass and wonderful Bluetooth pairing that is seamless and fantastic. They also come in a broad variety of colors plus a 45-day free return policy on top of that. Raycon is truly disrupting the electronics industry by designing premium wireless audio for half the price and without the compromise. They're doing things differently than other brands out there, from the way they design their products to the way they price them. Raycon holds true to their customer's experience from start to finish. Hell, this is a company that was co-founded by Ray J, and you got celebrities, such as Mike Tyson, J.R. Smith, and Snoop Dogg, who are obsessed with Raycons. And best of all, Raycons are fairly priced and don't cost an arm and a leg like other brands out there. 
but Raycon still maintains a high level of sound quality. So click that link in the description down below and go to buyraycon.com slash saberspark to get 15% off your Raycon purchase.